Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. And in this video, what I'm going to show you how to do is use Mem's Smart Write and Edit feature to create visual content like infographics, comic strips, and illustrations to pair with your blog posts. And if you haven't checked it out, be sure to check out our free ultimate guide to building a second brain. I'll be sure to include a link in the description below. Now, let's get to the tutorial. What I'm gonna show you in this video is how you can use Smart Write and Edit to create different types of visual content. Now, typically most of us wouldn't think of Mem as a tool for creating visual content, but it actually can be incredibly helpful for that. Because often when we're doing things like making infographics or writing blog posts, figuring out what illustrations we should pair with them can end up being very time consuming. And the cool thing with Smart Write and Edit is that it can actually come up with those things for you. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna create an infographic based on some book notes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and open up my book notes for Tiago Forte's book, Building a Second Brain. And I'm gonna ask Smart Write and Edit to create captions and illustrations for a infographic based on this book. What you'll notice here is this time it gave us all the captions, but it didn't give us illustrations. And what we can then do is say, okay, recommend illustrations for each caption. And in just about 30 seconds, we now have the foundation for an infographic based on Tiago Forte's book, Building a Second Brain. And what you could do now is you could hand this off to a designer or you could use a AI image generation tool that basically puts all of these illustrations into a prompt and generates them for you and then assemble them as an infographic. Let's go back to another example, which is creating captions for slides. So this is a outline for one of the modules in my course, Maximize Your Output with Mem. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight all the text in this module and say, generate captions for five slides based on this text. And what I found is sometimes you have to be very specific with Smart Write and Edit and mention that it's this text, because if you were working on another mem, it might end up bringing content in from that other mem. But what this will do basically is give us all the slides that we need for this module. And so there we go. It's actually expanding beyond this and giving me a few other things, but I just wanted the five slides. I got what I needed from this. And basically now, rather than having to think about what each slide is going to say from the get-go, we have each one of these sections broken up into slides. And what we can do is we can just copy and paste this below and remove all this extraneous stuff that we don't need. And so now, instead of having to think about what goes on each slide, I've got all the slides ready to go for the modules, and then I can just enter those into a slide design tool. Now let's look at one last example, which is turning a podcast transcript into a comic. This is probably one of my favorite ones and something I've been doing a lot lately. So what we're going to do is we are going to have this take one of my podcast transcripts and generate captions and illustrations for a 10 panel comic. And sometimes your mileage is going to vary with this one, just depending on how dense the podcast transcript is. There are times when this works really well, and there are other times when it gives me wonky results. But let's go ahead and do that. We're going to say 10 captions. And illustrations for a comic based on and then we'll let smart do his thing and in a few seconds here we should have a set of captions and illustrations that we can then turn into a comic strip
And sometimes this is going to take a little bit longer depending on the thing. You can see here in this case, what it did was it actually basically summarized this. But if I wanted to, what I could do is say, you know what, rewrite this using quotes instead. And we can say 10 captions and illustrations using quotes from And what it'll do is it'll actually pull quotes from the podcast transcript. Now, one thing that it will do, what you'll notice here is because there are also words by me in the transcript, it might sometimes pull those, but overall this works really well. And it's something that's sped up my creative process quite a bit for producing these comic strips. Sometimes it takes as little as a minute. And once I have all the illustrations, then I can just go into a tool like Dolly or stable diffusion and generate all the images to pair with this comic, which is really cool. There you go. So now what it's done is it's taken all of these quotes from Paul and it turned them into captions as well as illustrations. And then what we could do is we could go into a tool like stable diffusion or Dolly and basically add illustrations or pair illustrations with this, with the help of AI. So just to recap. There are several different ways that you could use SmartWrite and edit to create visual content. You know, I gave a couple of examples here. The first was to create an infographic from a set of book notes. The second was turning a course outline into slides. And the third was turning a podcast transcript into a comic strip. And the great thing about this is that even though MEM is primarily a tool for written content, it can actually help you in the process of creating visual content. Because once we put all those captions and illustrations together, we could easily hand that off to an illustrator to put, bring it to life, or we could create all the illustrations using another AI image generation tool. So just a cool way to use SmartWrite and Edit that I hadn't discovered before. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.